adding intricate depths to your artwork may seem daunting and complex, requiring so much work. However, it's really not as difficult to achieve as it may seem. Let's get started. I start by applying a wash to the background, and then loosely add soft green and cobalt blue hue, allowing them to blend freely without strict adherence to your pattern. Next, I'm going to mix on black with hooker's green and apply this color loosely around the bottom portion of the page. By the time we have finished painting one area, the rest may have dried out already. We can then add some more layers in the shadowed area with saturated color to create more depths. If the edges look a little unnatural, we can then use a dry clean brush to soften the edges. Wait until the paper is 100% dry, then we can add some dots to paint flowers. For the flowers in the shadowed area, we can use some green that is darker than the background to make the flowers stand out. And I'm going to use a watery brush to extend the petals in the lighter areas, creating a little effect of sunlight shining through. Once the whole paper is dry, I'm adding some white ink as the dreamy decoration. Keep in mind that when you're using white ink, the method will be slightly different to when you're using white watercolor paint, as the ink will dry faster than watercolor does, so don't paint all the dots, then try to extend them. As you can see, it already stains the paper. You may want to extend each dot one at a time. And if you want this to be very transparent, you may want to dilute it a bit with water before painting, and leave the color using a dry clean napkin as soon as you've painted the dots. Alternatively, you can also use thick white paint. 